Um, oh, that was the ship rocking. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. It like the moved the night. camera. I know it was rocking on stage and we were like, in the, during the freeze scene and we were like. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, okay, well. Good morning or good afternoon. or maybe perhaps good evening. Welcome to the best day ever show and happy new year everyone. I hope you celebrated with uh, family and friends and loved ones and drink champagne or Martinelli's or whatever you're into. Um, this is the first episode of the new year and what better way to ring it in than Wyatt Hayes, ladies and gentlemen. Get over here, Wyatt. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fantastic. Oh, look, even has a name tag. Yeah. Wyatt. Hello. Hi. Where are you from, Wyatt? Uh, I am from a small town, Stowe, Ohio, in the United States of Stowe, America. Stowe, Ohio? Yes. Is it S T O W? Yes. Like a stowaway. Yes. Stowe, like a stowaway. Ohio. Yes. What is your job here? On um, board? I am the entertainment lighting technician, so I'm basically in charge of all of the lighting and pyrotechnics and special effects throughout the ship. So don't upset him, or else you won't find your light. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> How long have you been working for Carnival? Uh, I graduated college August 18th and walked on to the ship September 1st in 2018. I can say that now. Um, so yeah. yeah, about five months. Five mm -hmm. months. You're just a little baby. I know, little baby. How did you find out about working on ships? Um, I got the idea from a friend in college. She graduated and she worked at an amusement park. So I worked with her uh, the same time that summer. And then she went on to work at Carnival as a floor technician. She like wanted to do ships, wanted to get out of Ohio, you know, went to college in Ohio and had never left Ohio to go see anything and mm -hmm. started adventuring. And I kind of got the idea too. So yeah. I started asking around and yeah, here I am. Did you apply online? Uh, I applied online. It, it was kind of weird. So I first applied with another company and then they accepted me. But then like two days later, Carnival, I wanted to be with Carnival. And then mm -hmm. they, Carnival uh, asked for an interview and I was like, okay, sure. Um, they explained the job so much more in detail and everything. So I kind of, and it felt more like I knew what I was going into. So yeah. I went with Carnival. And they... So you can go to carnivalentertainment.com slash auditions. I think, and then Maybe. yeah, it'll be there. Yeah, Lighting, it'll be there. dancer, it's, it's musician, all different, like it's all it's all in there. Well, it was kind of nice because the person who hires all the technicians worked with my mentor at Kent, um, and she kind of, she worked with him. And so that was kind of a connection where he's like, oh, you want to go work on a cruise ship? Yeah. I have this person who I used to work, who used to work for me. So it was kind of a in and I kind of knew somebody going into it. Uh, yeah. So the world's a lot smaller than you think. It oh, is. yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, Especially entertainment. It's totally so close niche and no, who that's knows why. who. Always be professional. Always. Never Always. burn your bridges. Never burn your bridges. Just be nice and kind to everybody, as you should be anyway, mm -hmm. not for any reward, but yeah. with, yeah, with, this is a very small world. Yeah. You mentioned working at theme parks. That was a job you had right before you yes. got this job? Um, a little, I worked there a couple summers back, actually. Uh, it, was at Cedar, it was at Cedar Point up in Sandusky, Ohio, and I was a light tech there and loved it and loved the crazy wild entertainment side of things because my degree is in theater mm -hmm. i went to school for lighting design and theater technology at kent state for just theater yeah um but i kind of branched off into the entertainment side just because of how fast-paced everything moves and like example for a carnival cruise we do what 10 11 shows a week in one space yeah so i just like the more like, transition oh that yeah one and space. Cool. just like you're not doing the same thing like you do the same thing every week but it's not the same thing every single day so this was your first contract, mm -hmm. and had you ever been on a cruise ship before? Never. I had never left Ohio other than, like, touching the states of Ohio. I'd never left Ohio before. You had never left Ohio? No. Like, okay, wait. I went was to Alabama for... Was this your first for... time seeing the ocean? Yes. Actually, yeah. The, the first time ever seeing an ocean at all. That is so exciting! Yeah. <laughs> was that exciting? Yeah. I think the first time I actually, like, dove into the ocean, I think we were in Grand Turk, and totally forgot about the saltwater thing. And it was like, eh, eh. it was all like in my face and mouth. And I'm just like, what is this? I quit. Okay. So, um, your first time ever in the ocean, what so far has been your favorite port 
Your favorite? Well, it's always the Atlantic Ocean. Yes. Much, but what is your favorite port that you've been to? Favorite port would probably be St. Thomas, just because yes. I have a friend who also lives there. Her name is Billy. That's um, right. And we worked together in Ohio, actually. So she kind of took me around and showed me everything. And I really like St. Thomas now and just being able to go out and hang out with someone you actually know. Um, but then I think like touristy spot would probably be St. Juan, just because you so like fun. you pull right into the city and you're just like, great. It's and I have self service. So great, yes. And it's a US port, so yes. self service is yes. always nice for people away on ships. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite cruise ship memory? It could be related to anything, whether it's the job, the people, the guests, the beaches, whatever. What is your, what do you think is something that like you will treasure forever? in this cruise journey you've been on? I think no matter how I'm feeling during the day, whether I'm homesick or I'm mad or I'm angry or I'm happy or I'm sad, whatever, um, you just go outside and it's just like a breath of fresh air, literally. Yeah. It's just, no matter, it's like you just look up and you're like, okay, I got this, it's okay, everything's okay. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of just like a reminder. Yeah. So it that's what I'm probably gonna take away from all this is just how wherever you're at just it's gorgeous yeah just look up because it's always beautiful yeah or like when we're at sea and you mm -hmm. just go to deck four like you forget sometimes i walk out and i see the ocean and you can see now it's just ocean like yeah. you, there's no there are no islands no boats there's nothing and you forget that that's your outside yep and you it uh, like it yeah still like takes today i was away. inside working and cleaning lights all day and then i like i had seen outside and i stepped outside and i was like oh yeah we're in Belize. We're, I'm on a cruise ship. Oh, okay. Because you just get like in this mental of like, all right, I'm working, I'm yeah. you know, fixing, I'm like cleaning, I'm dusting, I'm blowing out. And then you're like, oh, wait, I'm actually like on a cruise ship. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like you forget a little bit sometimes. Um, when does this contract end for you? February 28th. February 28th. Yeah, I, we do a journey cruise and then I fly home. What are you most looking forward to when you get back home? Um, Family and loved ones. Yeah. Uh, my boyfriend. Ray. Hi, Ray. Hi, Ray. <laughs> um, driving my car. Yes, uh, driving. driving. My car. Yeah. <laughs> um, sleeping in my own bed, my new bed, a queen size bed. Yes. So. Having your own space. Yes. Back. Yeah, yes. I'm sure. Um, <laughs> Wyatt, thank you so much no for problem. being on the best day ever show. He's oh, being called right now because he has to get back to work. He's going. He's I'm going. I'm coming. <laughs> Bye, Wyatt. I'm very lucky.